So my camera is literally about to die, but I am going to talk you guys through what I like to use in my clothes. Um, I only have a little bit of this Tide um, Simply Oxy. I love it because it attacks stains, odors, and most importantly, I get it from CVS. And when they have great sales for it and I have a coupon for it, yes, sis, I get it for free. So I love it. It smells nice. It's supposed to be 20 loads, um, but I don't believe that. <laughs> With me, it hasn't been 20 loads, but I just love to use it, and I'm going to use it all today on my towels because it makes my towels smell so good, so fresh, and I love showering and cleaning my face with them because it smells so good. But anywho, let's get off the tide. Um, I did got some, um, or oh, I do have some Arm & Hammer Clean um, uh, Sensation and Wash Scent Boosters. This is uh this i guess the scent of purifying waters and also with the tie simply oxy it's in the scent of refreshing breeze um i just grabbed these it's my first time ever using these so i want to go ahead and try those and see how they smell honestly you guys i love um washing my clothes and things that smells really really good i do have a sensitive skin so i do try to find things that you know that is a strong cleaner but it's not too strong on my clothes um so i did pick up some and this is my first time using the up and up brand um 64 low fresh linen uh laundry detergent and it's compared to gain what it does is widens brightens and fight tough stains and so i got this from targets it's their brand up and up and then i also got some of their brand up and up uh fresh linen dry sheets these are compared to bounce dryer sheets and when i tell you they smell good they smell good sis like they smell good and it's 105 sheets and it's 100 you guys i gotta get my life <laughs> So it's 105 sheets in here and it fights wrinkles, uh, reduce static, and um, it just makes sure, you know, your clothes smell amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and put these things away and then start with, um, I'm going to also wash out my uh, washer and my dryer. But I'm not going to do that on camera. I'll probably do it in another video because like I say, my camera is like almost dying so I want to show you how I separate my clothes um, you can separate your clothes how you like I'll separate mine how I like and yes we're gonna be happy okay so I only have one address here so I'm gonna probably put them with my shirts and my jackets I always wear I always wash my shirts and jackets together um, and then I have my towels and my covers and my pillowcases in one and then if I had more dresses, I'll have dresses, skirts, and stuff like that. My shorts and stuff like that together because I just feel like they should be, should be together. And then also I have my um, workout tights, my spandex pants, and all my pants on this side. I wash them all together. Um, and so, yeah, I do wash my clothes all separate. And then uh, these are my underwear, my bras, my socks. And this is my little un underwear bag here that I have, but I need to wash that two separate today. Um, so like I said, I have my bras, my underwear, or my panties, my socks, and my PJs all in one. Um, and so a lot of people don't like to put their socks and underwear all that, sh you know, ish together but I do because for one I'm saving money on my water bill because I have all these clothes you know I have all these clothes in one so I don't have to worry about washing socks with socks and panties with panties and bras with bras no honey we're saving water here we're saving on our bills here because this is the this is how I save to get my stuff from CVS um and I do budget you guys I do budget envelopes so I will go over that with you guys another time but this is my hamper that I use for my clothes and stuff like that that was my boyfriend's shoes over here um but yeah this is a hamper that I got from I think or no my boyfriend bought this he bought it from I think Walmart and he told me it was like 
four dollars six dollars i don't know it was in that price range four to six dollars um but yeah i got that from walmart i got two of them actually um and i honestly love 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 the color of it and i love that it's big and i can put all my stuff in there and i don't have to worry about anything and also this little hamper thing came from where i put keep my underwear and stuff i got that from walmart as well well the boyfriend got it from Walmart. Um, he got it from Walmart. And I think this was like only 3 or $4. So 3 to $4 for this. And then, yeah, you guys. So let me go ahead and wash out my, wa my washer and dryer. And then once I get that straight, I will be right back, you guys. Okay, so I already put all my pants and stuff in here. My tights, my workout clothes the spandex and I went ahead and put my that one single dress that was sitting there it's already in here so I put that in there and so I'm gonna go ahead with the arm and hammer the only thing I'm gonna tell you guys um, like I say I have never used the arm and hammer crystals um, washed scent boosters or I've never washed I've never washed I've never used the fresh linen laundry um detergent from targets up and up brand um but the only thing that i do not like about the arm and hammer and i mean you can make it work um if you know the amount to use it doesn't say or it doesn't state how much i'm supposed to use i am only going by this little rim here and it doesn't even have like a number so i could be using like more than what i i'm honestly supposed to be using um so I wouldn't oh so I wouldn't say use all of this I just did this because it just has like this little thing on the little I guess it's a little measurement cup on the rim right there if you can see it going around um, but I would think like an inside of here is what you would need for just like some of the clothes but all of that is a lot of scent booster you guys like you can save so much um, but just the only thing and the only problem that I don't like about Arm and Hammer, Hammer uh, in Wash Scent Booster is that it doesn't have like a much, like a a numbered measuring cup for the people that don't you know don't know like myself. So I'm gonna just sprinkle some of this in there, and let me tell you, it does smell really good and fresh. And I think I, that's gonna be it for that. Um, so I did have a lot left. You know enough to go back inside and then so i do love the scent of this i honestly love it and it does smell like gain it smells really really good you guys um and it did have a number measuring cup if you can see i don't know if you can see it's like two i guess like one and two lows three and four lows or and it goes all the way up to i think five five loads something like that but I'm using number two because I have a lot of pans in here and workout stuff so I'm gonna put that on there and then if you want to you can definitely um and I like to do this I like to dilute it with water I'll go right behind myself and put some water in there um and I don't have that's why I'm using the scent boosters because I want to um, honestly stop using fabric softeners um, and so I learned how to make my own fabric softener um, because fabric softener has gotten way too like I don't know to something about fabric softener that tears my skin up and so I'm just trying to be as as light on my on my clothes as I am on my skin because I don't know you guys the fabric softener just like I said it's it has me itching all day and I just need to find something that um, will work with my sensitive my sensitive skin so I've been on a hunt I've been on a look out for some things um, like I think it's like the method brand so I'm probably gonna buy some of that and do a a, a little review on it um, and see how I like it and see how it works with my skin I'm um, sorry you guys I just left that on um, and then I'll let you guys know but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and wash these clothes and what I like to wash my clothes on is speed wash because it's quicker I have to sit here and wait for it to you know go through all the process it does it does the process itself um, so I'm gonna put it on speed wash and so 
my it already automatic knows to turn on it's gonna wash it's gonna wrench it's gonna uh, spin I'm going to go ahead and put it on warm water not hot water because hot water can definitely shrink your clothes and also uh, take the color out your clothes if you know what I'm saying sis and bro so but if you like a more you know deep wash and stuff like that you definitely can pre-soak I got that on my washer too as well pre-soak and all that but I don't have time I'm trying to get my clothes and stuff together I'm ready to fold I'm ready to hang them up yes sis that's what we doing <laughs> so while that's going um I'm gonna definitely go in this dryer because I see some stuff um I see some stuff that babe he washed um, but he didn't clean the rim. I'm very COD, you guys. So I gotta go in and take all this out because he left it. It's just, oh my gosh. <laughs> so while I'm waiting on these to wash, and you guys are, um, you guys are here, that's what I'm gonna be doing next. So I'll be right back once those pants are through washing and then we can go into drying our pants and I'm going to show you how I dry my clothes as well and I'm going to tell you some um, tips on how to get your clothes wrinkle free without using an urn in your dryer. Okay so my pants are finally done you guys so my secret tip for getting your clothes let's say iron free because that's what I do I haven't used an urn in so long you guys and I don't use an urn with my son's clothes either because these work just fine um what these do these are just um dryer balls and these are wool dryer balls um I purchased them on Amazon these are the best best um dryer balls that you can get that's gonna keep your clothes static free that's gonna keep your clothes um wrinkle free they work so well for me like I said I haven't had to buy an urn in a mighty long time you guys and so I'm going to use some of my fabric sheets now you don't have to use fabric sheets when you use these but I love to just I love that extra scent in my my um my clothes when I put them in a dryer but with these you can definitely put essential oils in them and um Oh, I thought my clothes was done, <laughs> but you can put essential oils in there and just toss them in the dryer like so just toss them in there like you playing basketball my son be doing that all the time and then also um I guess they my pants are done and then I'm just gonna put like five um sheets fabrics uh fresh linen dryer sheets I don't know why I would say fabric softener sheets but uh dryer sheets in there um, I'm not sure how many it was. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's five. And so I just like, like I say, I like extra scent. You can definitely go the mo more natural route with just putting essential oil in here. I've tried to do that, but I don't know. Um, I've even tried to research on how I put the oils and stuff in there without getting the oil on my shirts, on my clothes. Like I've wasted so much essential oil in clothes. <laughs> Uh, because the oil get on my clothes and so that's why I don't put oil in there um, but yeah I just love using those because I don't like to earn to be honest I don't like to earn so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out you guys I don't even have my tripod I just have my little selfie stick tripod um, so that's why I'm not um, the camera is moving a lot <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and put all these hands in there and my, my one little dress. You guys, it is so important. I want to tell you guys this. Moms, in general, we look. I look for change, honey. I look for dollar bills. I look for whatever is necessary um, that I can spend or put in my little um, budgeting binder. <laughs> Um, so if there's any change or any dollars, definitely, I'm definitely going to keep it, but it is important to, um, check all clothes and pants and stuff like that, just to make sure you didn't leave anything. Well, with mine, I know I didn't leave anything, girl, because, shoo, sis, I ain't have nothing to start with. <laughs> I ain't have no change. 
Um, I try to keep my change in like a little drawer. A little drawer. A little jar. Um, so yeah. And so that's all my clothes here. We got our dryer balls. We got our dryer sheets in there. I did go and clean this out here. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And um, I like to put my dryer on 60 minutes. Because I feel like 90 minutes, it just takes too long. And plus, I'm waiting for these clothes to get dry. And um, once the clothes down here um, is done, um, I'm pretty much basically just waiting for my clothes to dry. Um, so I like to put it on 60 minutes because it's more quicker. You can definitely put it on 50, 50 minutes. Like I normally do put it on 50 minutes, and I think I will go ahead and do it today. But... If you have time, do it 60 minutes because that's going to dry all your clothes. And 50 minutes is, is going to partially dry your pants. But you can definitely, girl, save you some change, save you some money, save you some coins. And hang your pants up. Now, it's not going to be too damp. They're going to be a little damp. So you can just go ahead and hang them in your closet. Open your closet door or your slide closet door. However your closet door is made. Open it up. And also, it just leaves your room smelling so fresh and good. Um, another thing you can do is just put them in your closet and open the closet door. As I was saying, I was saying and open your window up um, and let some of that good fresh air in. Um, and that also will dry your clothes. If you have a house, I don't say a house. I stay in a condominium. So, um, if you have a house... You can definitely put your line out back, sis, and let your clothes just dry the natural, easy way um, without using any electric and all that. Oh, you've been touching.